<laughs> okay. Yeah. Do it live. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this one. You've seen it? Thing yeah. Sucks. <laughs> I'm what the. Right. <laughs> like Bill O'Reilly Come said, on. we're doing it live. And we're live. And we're live. Oh, just like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're live. Now, do you know how this came up, though? So I was writing up the show notes today on the couch, and I showed them to Lewis. And Lewis was like, he gandered at it for a few seconds. He goes, bro, I don't need this. We do it live. <laughs> <laughs> bro, so yeah, one of my boys, before every test, he would play that. And he was just, I'm like, well, everyone's studying and, you know, trying to do, like, last minute stuff. And he would just watch that video. He's like, doing it live. <laughs> doing it live. Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> No, you, that's how you got to go into the test. Yeah, just, literally. Just let it rip. On me, let it rip. Can't well, toe dip. The draft prep's not live. It's all different, all preparation, right? Yeah. How's that been so far? Because I haven't seen you in a minute, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's been different, uh, especially because there's no, like, combine in person this year. So it's been different just kind of like, well, obviously it's different from college because you're kind of making that transition. But, like, it's just been different from, like, even the people from previous years can't tell us what it's going to be like because no one's ever done it. Like. Yeah, it's like a completely just new script. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, so. I saw you got the invite, though. Congrats on that. That's yeah, huge. Thank you. Yeah, that is major. What is that going to be like? Or I guess, like, what have they kind of, like, told you thus far? Is There's some virtual components and, like, some testing stuff. But other than that, it's really nothing. Right, so it's all virtual? Day. Are you yes. doing it at Vandy, or how is this working? Well, it's kind of ongoing over the course of a few months so there's different portions to it and like iq tests and aptitude tests and right. things like that but oh the wonder lick yeah the wonder lick so do they are you preparing for that or no yeah we have wonder lick training well i've wow. I've, I've already taken it once but oh, yeah like a pre-test like yeah a, we took it uh, SAT. yeah yeah you could take you could take those early too yeah so yeah. we took it uh senior day last year yeah oh for real yeah because i took it my junior year at penn or yeah. like before yeah. all of that happened. so um they showed a sample of it one time online i thought it was pretty simple Ooh, really? it's it's laced with some trick questions yeah. like yeah. they 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 Is layer it like the in. sat where you have to prepare for the individual questions like the types no. or it's really not really much like what right. do they do for prep like you really just take wonder look tests they have made yeah. up wonder look tests and you yeah. just pretty much take them just take it yeah but they're pretty easy, but there's like some questions that are tricky. Yeah, tricky. and well, yeah, the biggest thing is just you're you're running against the clock. Yeah, you know, so it's like, do yeah, you spend a little extra time trying to, you know, really like think through one of the questions, or just like oh, I'm gonna try to like maybe land another easy one down the road. Yeah, you gotta make sure you answer every question. Yeah, yeah. Sure. oh, is that what they say? Well, yeah, you know so I mean, you might as well. Yeah, just yeah, is multiple you don't choice. Get off, right. Yeah, there's no points off. So. Right. How about the team meetings? What do they do for that in terms of prep? Um, so we've met with basically like GMs that have retired and old coaches. So they kind of walk us through what the interviews are like. But it's different on Zoom this year. So like I said, like no one oh, really knows yeah. what to do. But it's it's pretty much the same stuff as like regular interview prep. And I'm kind of used to everyone's kind of used to Zoom at this point. So yeah. it's not right. It's not too crazy. It's not too. Yeah. How are they going to handle, like, the athletic portion of it? I mean, it's just really pro day. It's just your pro day numbers. I know, like, different uh, training facilities are doing their own combines, like mm -hmm. Exos. Right. Their own combine. And, like, House of Athlete and different. Right. So, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. How is that going to look for you? Are you going to be, like, strictly upper body or? Uh, I'm probably not doing anything physically okay. for pro day right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just rehabbing right now. Yeah. And then, how did it happen? Uh, I was just training. I was in senior bowl training. It was the we we're supposed to go out on Saturday. I think it happened on like Tuesday. We were just senior bowl training and took a bad step. It's just what was the, what was the feeling like a pop or yeah? It's like like when people say they feel like someone kicks them in the back of the leg. It's pretty really, that's what it felt like. Yeah. It's did like, you know instantly something's something's really bad? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kind of knew, but I didn't want to. Obviously, I didn't want to believe it, but. I kind of knew yeah. what, was, what the deal was, but what was your mindset tough. after that? Were you was it just back in the lab and you know work as usual, or were you kind of down for a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I, I probably took like a day or two. I was like, all right, let me just get my mind right. But 
we pretty much had to go really right back to work and just trying to get better because, like, it was really no point of just sitting around and, right, like, okay. yeah, soaking on it. So, yeah, it was pretty much just getting back to work and trying just to is what find it is another then, way. Yeah. yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. yeah. What's the timetable looking like? <coughs> uh, Hopefully, like, five more months from now or a little under five months from now. To be at 100%? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be playing football now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, you're at the right spot in terms of rehab and all that. Yeah. Because uh, so OJ broke his fibula, and then he's been down at Bomberitos in South Florida, one of the top pro day facilities for, um, you know, draft guys. And mm -hmm. he's sprinting. He's doing well. He's talking about he's beating NFL dudes in workouts and conditioning sessions and all that. And yeah. well, we were talking to him on FaceTime yesterday, and two months ago he couldn't even run. Yeah, so that's we're like, good. Yeah, we're like, damn, dude, like that's that's the spot to be in. You know, they've got yeah. everything for you. It's 24-7. He's going to the facility two, three times a day, getting all the rehab he needs. So, wow, twenty four seven. Well, no, nah, oh, yeah, okay. it, it was an exaggeration. It was <laughs> <Yeah>. a better. <laughs> yeah, was like, yeah, hey, no, 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 three no. in the morning and just <laughs> sixteen. He hours. would. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would if he, he could. <laughs> if he could, yeah. believe me, he would put, put an alarm up and yeah, he'd be there. But yeah, uh, talk to me a little bit about the difference in training uh, at these kinds of facilities versus at a university where we had coach Dobson at Vandy and you know to me I think he did a really good job but I always see guys get you know these these incredible gains once they reach the pro day facilities and I'm always wondering why mm -hmm. is it the change in diet where they're hooking you up is it is it the recovery methods is it I mean uh, that's something I've always been interested in yeah I feel like it's a little bit of everything because uh, a big part of it, it definitely is diet especially coming from college you know we're in you're kind of in charge of your own diet, but um, especially at Proactive. So we have our own chef who cooks us uh, like a meal plan, and there's a nutritionist that work together. So that's kind of a big, big part of it right there is just the diet. And then the, the workouts are kind of, I mean, obviously you're training for the combine, so you're not just training just to get big. You're really training for the bench or, or right. training for, right. you know, explosive Just the numbers movements. that matter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um I don't know. I think it's I think it's a little bit of everything it just especially the diet. I think the diet is probably one of the biggest things that changes from college to Do you think there's like any factor of just like numbers playing into it? And when I say numbers as in like you know, you're surrounded by maybe like 10 guys and so you know like a nutritionist and a chef can really focus in on yeah. just 10 people versus like having to prep for a hundred, yeah, and everyone's got something different, yeah, going nah. on, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, each everyone's meals like personalized to that person. So like, what you like and you don't like, and if you're losing weight, gaining weight, and things like that. So it's definitely different from Brandon, bro. You just going to Hendrix and grabbing whatever you want. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which Hendrix? Hey, don't sleep on Hendrix. Yeah, I mean Hendrix has some <laughs> don't good sleep nights. On <laughs> bro, yeah. I had one, and then I was like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I just told them to pay me. I'll, I'll find some food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but they did They did snap, though, for sure. I see also you're, you're posting on your IG stories and all that. It seems like it's a community with the guys you're training with. Yeah. I think we talked a little bit about OG. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was my teammate at SC, our, our corner. Yeah. And, you know, I see you guys going out for food and, and hanging out and all that, and you guys are living together as well, which I think is really cool. But mm -hmm. you know, how's, how's that? You know, amongst you guys going going through the same process and it's a new process as well but yeah so i mean where i'm i'm at right now we're all signed to the same sports agency and that's basically why we all train together so it's a little different than most agencies you basically sign and then you train wherever you want so it definitely is like they're big on having a family feel and we have like family dinner once a week on nice. wednesdays and things like that so it is um it definitely is kind of like a family. It it kind of reminds you of college, like trying to get like a little. It's n it'll never be the same as like being in a locker room in college, but yeah, it is kind of like a a community feel, and it definitely helps in workouts. Like people pumping Everyone's each other, each up, other. Yeah, pushing each other to be better. So, who's definitely. probably the biggest personality that you're around in your group? OG, definitely. Really? OG, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a funny dude. Yeah, huh? OG's a character. Yeah. Wow. Funny dude. Yeah, he's a good dude though. Yeah. Have you have you explored like OC? I mean, this is your first time in like Orange County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely my first time at OC, but 
I've been around a little bit. Like, oh, yeah, I've been down to Newport. And I'm like, What's a gem? What's one one spot uh, that just you're like, yeah, this is this is something different. Um, in OC, there's like uh this little mini pancakes place. Yeah, have you heard of the mini pancakes? No, nah. I actually saw it on TikTok. Yeah, you did. On, yeah, my little foodie account that wow. I follow. Yeah, it's pretty live. <laughs> Yeah, but They're you like, gotta you gotta come with us with the tacos. Yeah, I saw the tacos that yeah. y'all be going on Tuesdays. Oh, bro. bro, come with us on Tuesday. It's insane. Is it like a cheesy? Oh, you can choose to you, put you cheese can, on you, it. Hey, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's however yeah. you want it. Yeah. You want it. But yeah, they go crazy on Tuesday. Yeah, so I actually yeah. bought them for the boys. Phil and I went yesterday. Bought yeah. like twenty five. Got a whole burrito. All that. Uh, we had a podcast yesterday with one of our receivers, so we were eating it, you know, partly on the pod, and it was like a whole interactive thing. Uh, it's Angels. Angels Tijuana Tacos. Angels. Like, they have, shout like, out Angels. Shout out Angels. Bro, that's two straight podcasts. We're shouting them out shout with, no, out, with no sponsorship. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, yeah, someone needs to talk to them because <laughs> we're no there. sponsorship. Bro, we are there every Tuesday, and then we go on sometimes Thursdays, sometimes Fridays, and then he yeah. went on Saturday. And well, we have all the boys, too, on the team that are yeah. going. Yeah. We, we shout them out. Every time we go, put them on the story. That's two straight podcasts now. Yeah. We need to get them to cater the podcast. Dude. We, we mm. should. I mean, I feel like the amount of, like, burritos and tacos I've bought, and I should be able just to buy them out by now. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, it's Mine's insane. Stocking. And you know how much Lou eats, too. Yeah. Bro, the first <laughs> time I was there, did a, a burrito, uh, moulas, which was, like, it's almost, like, so hard to explain, but um, almost like a quesadilla, kind yeah. of, but made out of, like, their own special uh, tortillas, and then... Um, and then like seven tacos. Oh it was like a thirty dollar. <laughs> like, yeah, just, just had to. Crazy. Yeah, I tried everything. Needed to try all the meats. <laughs> however, they prep it. Yeah. And then he put me on. He was saying that they're known for their potato. Yeah. Potato. Yeah. Just it's they a, stuff like it. A, yeah. They it's like almost, a baked potato. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're they're sitting on the grill like all day, and uh, it's almost like substituting your burrito with just a potato. Okay. And then they Ooh. just load it. Oh no, okay. Uh, I need to come. It's yeah, massive. bro, they can go <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. Every every one of my teammates I put on, they'll get a burrito, and the first question is, how much of the burrito did you eat? Because there's no shot that they big? ate the entire thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We we can eat the entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would probably can. I, I was say, I'm doing a burrito too. and five tacos, so. Okay, that's that's a little much for me. Back in the day, I could have gone. <laughs> that's every Tuesday, yeah. man. Prep. <laughs> yeah. No, that's crazy. Um. You're from Texas, though. Y'all have some good Mexican food as well. Yeah. I is mean, it? Yeah. Okay. Mexican? I mean, yeah, it's like Tex-Mex. Tex -Mex. Yeah, Tex-Mex. Bro, it's so different than down here, don't you think? You get both, though. It's not as much. You get both. Like You'll get the street tacos and, like, real Mexican food, but then a lot of the sit-down restaurants are Tex-Mex, so. Okay. So if you want to, like, go, go out to eat, it's Tex-Mex, but. You definitely get like there's not as many taco trucks like on every corner. How right. it is here. Yeah, here it's every corner. Yeah, it's a huge every single thing. corner. Yeah. What do you think? Like, who has the better Mexican food? Which state? I'm always gonna give it to Texas. That's okay. crazy. Yeah, I'm, That's yeah. so crazy. A hundred percent. What part of Texas are you from? I'm from Dallas. Uh, I grew up in Austin. Texas is for sure. Got no the way, yeah. dude. Austin got those tacos. No, really? Really? So Austin has Austin those tacos. Does? Bro, yeah. every place I've gone to, it's just. Uh, it's you haven't not been to Austin, the same. Though. I have. Did you eat tacos in Austin? Yeah, we yeah we went to a Mexican spot, and mm. I was just like, dang, another Tex-Mex. Yeah. And were, you, were you with a local, or did you who were you with? Uh, I guess they weren't fully locals at the mm. time. Uh, it's all right. You gotta go, you gotta go with Bowen. <laughs> right. where's, where's the taco spot? In, in, uh, in yeah, what's Austin? your Austin spot? Uh. Austin go to spot is more so on the corner. You can find them on the corner in Austin, like Torchy's pre all the sellout and stuff. Torchy's original OG Torchy's was the spot yeah, back Torchy's. before they got all over the place. Um, it's more so. It's just I find it funny how we've got to introduce everyone to what a breakfast taco is. You go. You can go Wait, a lot. You're saying you guys started that? No. What? Texas breakfast tacos? originated the, the breakfast taco. Uh, I mean, I don't know about Texas. I know that Austin goes hard on breakfast Dude, tacos. Really? And everywhere else I've been in the country and have lived on all coasts, I'm always explaining to people what a breakfast taco is. Okay, well, what is it? What a bre is breakfast in a taco? Dude. <laughs> but, like, what makes it better than a breakfast burrito? Because I can't find a good breakfast burrito out in Texas. 
and gym bobs would set you straight. But uh, what's the difference? Is more so just size? Yeah, yeah I don't think yeah. it's an ingredients thing. I think it's a size thing. Well, I'm all about that's, yeah. It's not gonna cut it for Lou. Yeah, you don't you don't know Lou. <laughs> I need the burrito. Yeah, the more the better. Tacos. I mean, this guy's bro. Like, I'm like, There's some big tacos. Now. No, I, I've yeah, seen them, yeah. but I'm just like. Ugh. Yeah, you're going to need, like, 20 of those, and that's going to hurt the pocket. When you start, yeah, it's like, I don't know, maybe mentally feel better just having one burrito than having to say, like, yeah, I had seven breakfast tacos. (laughs) (laughs) I'm also a burrito burrito guy, because we tried a new spot, Avenue 26. All they did was tacos. And this place was insane, bro. It was in a whole street, shoulder to shoulder. If you go, I mean, you'd, you'd think COVID doesn't exist there, right? Where is it? Avenue 26. Uh, Dude, it was, was, uh... East East LA, yeah, um, probably like ten minutes from from here, uh, yeah. But stretched like imagine this street right here, just fully stretched down, and literally just shops along the side. And I'm saying like rows of three to four people across, lined up. I mean, you couldn't yes. even move. Cars cars can't even drive through. Just restaurants and like no, yeah, like well, set up yeah. shops, okay, like tent shops. shops yeah, yeah. Okay. but yeah. the main attraction was this taco spot smack in the middle. Mm-hmm. And the line was probably what I would say a hundred yards, something crazy like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. and so I'm like, okay, we're gonna be here forever. And I asked the person in line, I'm like, hey, is the line always like this? Because this is unreal. Like this food better be insane. She's like, no, I was actually here last week, and it was a fraction of this. Um, actually, I saw on TikTok yesterday, and it blew up. And so everyone's here because of the TikTok yeah. video, so which is like, why okay. we were there. Which is why. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no, a friend recommended it, but it was uh, also on TikTok, right? And the line was flying by because these people were just dishing like and Um, all they do is tacos they specialize in tacos and it's just a machine lou was asking them like a few questions he's like hey what's this meat they freaked out yeah they freak out they're like this rookie get out of here next in line and they're just (laughs) it's a factory man it's not he looked through me like i was a ghost (laughs) when i was ordering (laughs) because i was like ah i've been looking at all their meats i'm like ah like what's that right there and he's like look we have these meats and i was like it's taking some time to process and he was like all right screw it who's next and just (laughs) got the next guy you're wasting his time yeah but that's what i'm saying so like i had to order 15 tacos you know like like geez i feel fat yeah there were tacos. Though. Yeah, there were the small. Was ones. it legit fifteen tacos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's uh, not it exaggerating. Was a, it was an easy fifteen. Yeah. And I got and I had three of the. You were probably hungry after that. Yeah. Too. I had the like five potatoes that they give you after too. The they potato. they soak the potatoes in like the brisket juice. Ooh. Yeah, that they were cooking everything in, and they give that to you for free. Okay. Yeah. So that changed the game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we gotta it put you fine. on, bro. On Tuesday, you're coming. I haven't with had us. any of these Mexican potato places. And, oh yeah, put me on a baked potato, and then yeah, yeah, bro. If you come on a Tuesday, we'll freaking we'll, we'll put you on something nice. Right, yeah. I'm gonna have to pull up on Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's different. You gotta come through, no doubt. Well, all right. Uh, I also wanted to get into to Vandy. Yeah. And uh, man, there's there's a he lot. Said, to, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Oh <laughs> damn." <laughs> There's a lot to dig into, brother. Last year specifically, which I wasn't with y'all, obviously, but mm-hmm. tough season. Obviously, not the way y'all wanted it to go. Yeah. You know, what's what's going through your mind? I mean, yeah. I mean, it was a tough season for everybody. Obviously, in the program, and then really around the country, just dealing with COVID and everything like that. So, um, yeah, it was a tough year. Just, I mean, we had a lot of young guys, and then just having COVID hitting, p- probably played the most players we probably had in the game was probably like fifty six or something like that, like on the roster. And then wow, the, the minimum was like fifty three. Yeah. So like, I mean, it was just it was it was kind of difficult just not knowing. Like every week, you're like, oh, are we gonna have a game? Like, yeah. Are we gonna yeah. Are we gonna be able to play? Because every week it's like. Eight more guys got quarantined, and then, like, three guys come out, and then, so, and then we did have some weeks canceled and postponed and things like that, so it was it was definitely a tough season on everybody. So we got some insight on, like, how it was for maybe, like, the DBs and the receivers, where they had just had to do a lot of servicing, and, um, you know, guys would essentially have no breaks at all in practice, and, you mm-hmm. know, as, like, for D-line, we're constantly rotating, mm-hmm. throwing guys in and out. How is it? How did how did COVID affect the D line group? Um, it was <coughs> definitely a lot more on the interior, where mm-hmm. we got, got hit a lot. So, 
There were some days where we basically had like one nose, and he was playing the entire practice. Wow. And we we're just gonna play out of, out of um. Well, like, like a three a, man, yeah, or three a man front, just because wow. we only got one interior D lineman. So, I mean, it was it was tough, and then we had like D lineman playing scout team, and like we got, I mean, obviously, like we had. Just people playing out of position and things like that. So yeah, yeah. Did well, they, I, did they ever have you having to do a little service, a little little scout? I mean, yeah, like during not full speed, but like during the some walkthroughs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what Gabe said. He was out here visiting us. I mean, he was starting at corner right for a lot of the games. Yeah. He said he would do the entire service period, and then right after that, do the entire you know regular ones period. Yeah. And then go right into the game. That's a lot of mileage. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely taxed on a lot of people's body. So, would you? Did you ever go into any games where, like, you you know, comparing it to kind of years past, like you didn't feel kind of like refreshed or kind of like a hundred percent ready to go? Uh, no. More physically, or even prepared too. Because yeah. were there any short weeks where you didn't know you were playing that team in a timely um, manner? Yeah, we had. I think we had two short weeks. Where we didn't know them, who we were playing until like a couple of days into the week. It wasn't too bad though. Um, it just took a little bit of catching up. It was probably harder on the coaches. So really, yeah, yeah they're like grinding, freaking out, <laughs> trying to figure out who we're prepare playing. all the, yeah. the scouting and scouting like, stuff. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it really wasn't too bad. But what was, uh, I guess, mem- maybe your more memorable part of that season? Um, I mean, the first game was fun, just being able to – Back been, home. Yeah, yeah, back home. That's the yeah. same thing Gabe and Jeremy said. Yeah. So it was your closest game, too. You yeah. probably played the best that game, and yeah. they turned out to be what, a top five, six team in the country as well. Yeah. But that, that's a, that was an interesting point because you guys played so well against such an elite team, and then the rest of the season went the way it did. Yeah, I think it was just kind of tough to build confidence. I mean, I think we just – Came out that game really not knowing because obviously it was the first game for both teams. So I think both teams just came out really not knowing what they're coming against. So I think that kind of changed the the flow of that game. It was, yeah, it was a close game, though. So, but yeah. Do you think so. the season would have gone maybe a little bit differently if you guys came out on top of that one? Or do you think I mean, the impact of COVID might have still kind of – like it's course. It could it could really go either way. I mean, I could definitely see how the momentum would the momentum. momentum. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely see how that would have like propelled us forward, but I mean obviously it's a week to week type of game, so Right. So well help me understand the COVID thing too though, because isn't every team kind of going through similar things? Yeah, I mean everyone's pretty much going through similar things, but one, our contact tracing was just, like, real detailed. So we'd have one person get COVID and then eight people are out. But, I mean, that was happening for a lot of schools. Um, and then also we're just usually short on numbers. And yeah, just had, in general because it's general, bandy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we had a lot of opt-outs, too, of guys who opted out throughout the season, before yeah. the season. So Yeah. And then speaking just, of opt-outs, didn't you at – Towards the, the yeah. like last was it the last week? The last two two games. Last two games. Yeah, I hopped it out of the last two games after uh, Coach Mason got fired. So that was that was, just the direct correlation there? It was, or it was a you could bit. plead the fifth. <laughs> well, no, like what? what went no, into I mean that? That, that that had that had a that was a big part of it. Was yeah, Coach Mason getting fired, and that was just there was a lot of uncertainty in the program, and then. Uh, we also, at the same time, had, like, six more opt-outs. So, at that time, the last game they actually played with under the li- under the limit of 53, mm. which I didn't even know you could do that. Was that UT game? Yeah, the UT okay. game. It was uh, supposed to be Georgia and UT, but yeah. then Georgia. Georgia got canceled. Yeah, as they're on the bus. What? what? They're literally, like, sitting on the bus, bags packed, ready to leave, and they just get a text that uh, there's a team meeting right now. They go up and they cancel the game. You're talking about our team or Georgia? Uh, our team. Like, we're on the uh, bus to go to Georgia. We're about to go. Yeah. Like, so literally w- leaving in five minutes. That's like everyone's sitting on the bus. <laughs> what was the reasoning? I don't know, I guess. I saw the Georgia AD. She was just <laughs> chirping on Twitter. 
I mean, we we're, we're below the limit, but you can choose to play. Yeah. Right. With well, she made it seem like we were yeah. ducking it for whatever reason. Wow. Because um, I know her and um, our AD at Vandy, mm -hmm. they were going back and forth about some. It was, yeah. Like a little tweet war there. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see that. You didn't see that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't even know about this. Well, at least I, all the know. Georgia fans, they're talking about it. All the comments are like, well, why, yeah. why are you ducking us? The whole thing. Anytime. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the year is wild. You don't want to go play and not with, I mean, yeah. 40 guys, honestly. Right. Like some guys who aren't necessarily ready to play, like freshmen who haven't been playing all year. Like, right. You just don't want to put anyone in that position at the end of the day. So. And it's yeah. crazy to talk about, too, because the other day I was talking about how, like, football can be so situational to the point where you have, like, 100-something guys. But in some situations, it's, like, 22 play. But then, in this case, where, like, you're in a situation where you have 40 guys, and in theory you should have, you know, you have the guys that should be good, and then you have mm -hmm. a couple, you know, rotations uh, to get in, but it's, like, 40 is not enough. Yeah. You know, and I think that makes the sport just, like, very unique in the sense where it is still like an all hands on deck type of right. type of game. Yeah. Well, especially D line, you need a rotation going too. Yeah, definitely yeah. a D line. Like yeah. I feel like you need to go in with the D at least like an eight deep. Yeah, depending on how many you're playing up front. But right, if yeah, you're four. Yeah, four. Definitely. You for sure need the eight. But yeah. I mean, even in a three, like yeah. there were games where it'd be. It'd be us, and then, you know, we got Stone, and we got Rutger, yeah. and we got, yeah. you know, we got guys, you know, all going in yeah. and, you know, having an impact on the game. Yeah. yeah, so it was definitely, it was probably the best idea to just not play that, yeah. that game at least. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, talk me through when, when you find out Coach Mason's um, essentially fired or let go. Yeah, so... I mean, basically, they just called the team meeting in the indoor. And in the indoor? Yeah. And it was just like, At that point, you meeting know something serious. That's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, and we go up. Honestly, someone had joked, like, I'm not going to say someone had joked about it in the locker room, but somebody was like, oh, it. like, uh, uh, and then we're like, whatever, bro. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Go up, walk in, and then coach... Coach Mace comes in, and he has no Vandy gear on. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> wow. I've never He's seen king of Vandy no, gear. Yeah, like, <laughs> got like, I mean, he's still got a cold little fit on. Like, yeah, you know, always, coach, always, fresh. always. Shout out Coach Mace. <laughs> I'm like, oh. No. And then him and the AD just talked, said what they had to say. It's pretty emotional, but. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a crazy time. It was a crazy weekend. And then that was right after, uh, like, Sarah Fuller's first game. So it was just a crazy weekend. Yeah, that general. was directly like, after like that. That whole week was just. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I wanted to ask you about that, too. Like, what's going on there? I mean, yeah, we needed a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> we needed a you kicker. couldn't kick? No, you couldn't kick it? Walk me through as a player, though, the, the whole sequence. Um, So, basically, on Sunday, I guess they found out a bunch of our, well, every single one of our kickers got quarantined. Contact um, tracing. Contact draw, tracing. Draw out. And this yeah. is for a Missouri game, right? Yeah, for okay. Missouri. And so it's like a Monday or something. Everyone's back at the facility. Mm -hmm. And you realize that there's no specialist. Or actually, was it for Missouri? Because yeah. I think that was one of the games that got canceled and switched. And then switched, yeah. So. Okay. I think well, it was wasn't actually that her first. Be, was that, was she that played that Missouri her? game. That yeah. was her first game. Yeah, she yeah. played Missouri, but. You guys had her locked in maybe I feel a week like before. We're playing. I might be wrong, actually, so I'm not even going to say it. But I feel like we got our schedule switched that week. That was one of the weeks that we were talking about. But yeah. either way, um, they tell us on Sunday, like, uh, we're having kicker tryouts. Does anyone want to come try out the kick? And I guess, well, I didn't go. <laughs> I can't kick, so. <laughs> so they ask everyone on the team first. Yeah, they yeah. asked everyone on the team first. And then uh, the next day, <laughs> Someone was actually just telling me, like, hey, yo, I heard one of the girls' soccer players coming to try to kick or something like that. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, they're just coming to kick? <laughs> coming to kick? Like, well, yeah, she's coming to kick. Like, uh, I mean, we need a kicker. So I was like, all right, bet. Well, we'll see. So come out to practice. She's out there kicking. I'm like, okay, so this is really happening. Like, <laughs> and at first, like, I didn't realize it was going to be a big deal. Like, I wasn't thinking, like, I was the first female 
kicker, yeah. driver kicking. I'm just thinking, like, it was like we have someone from the soccer team kicking, like, right. it's going to be pretty crazy. And this is right after they just won the SEC championship. Yeah, so they yeah. were, like, they were up right then, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're good friends with Sarah as well, right? Yeah, no, really yeah, Sarah. yeah. Sarah, cool. She cool people. <laughs> <laughs> she cool. Well, she's, cool an, icon. Teammate, yeah. she's an icon now. She's I mean, yeah, she's famous bro. now, so. Yeah, she's big time. She's too, too big time for me. She's too big time for you? <laughs> yeah. But she's not know. responding to texts or phone calls or nothing. I mean, I'm just well, she's to doing the inauguration. Back. He's still trying to get the follow back. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she this is the Super Bowl and all type of stuff. So. Yeah, she did the Biden inauguration as well. Yeah, I saw the Biden one, but I didn't know she was at the Super Bowl. I think so. I thought she had like a Super yeah. Bowl commercial. But wasn't she going to transfer? Oh, she did. She did have the commercial. Yeah. Yeah. She was going to transfer, and then now she's back at Vandy or something. Do you know what happened? Um, she was going to go to like North Texas She wanted to go back home And then yeah. Now she's back I don't know I figured you might know I No, know. I think she just came back I think she just she's changed back. her mind about Yeah that. she changed her mind yeah. That's news to me Yeah Because I remember I think it's North Texas So I could be wrong Yeah I think it was North Texas They kept, they kept like tweeting in support Like oh like good job Sarah Like can't wait to have you here next season it was, it was kind of funny because she's like a Vanderbilt, like Nashville, like yeah. kind of icon yeah. now. And North Texas is tweeting about her coming there. Yeah. So maybe just with everything that went on, she's like, well, maybe I should just stay. But she was a starter for the soccer team, wasn't she? Or like well, a goalie? She, I thought she was. Yeah, yeah she was yeah. a starter. Yeah. Why? why uh, I mean, I guess only she knows. Yeah, we've got to get her on the pod. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to fly her out? Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, could fa- we could FaceTime her right now. <laughs> see what she says. <laughs> yeah, her publicist. Her, her um her secretary or her assistant. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to contact her people. Yeah. She her probably people. has people now. Yeah, her people. Yeah. We'll have uh, Bolin and Phil make the phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Our people contact Our their people. people. <laughs> yeah, I like talking to people. Yeah. Hey. There we go. But there was a lot more to it, though, right? There was a halftime speech or something like that Gabe was telling us about. Yeah, um, she was. she gave a little halftime speech, uh, just kind of getting after the guys on the sideline, trying to get them to... I'd be vocal and encouraging the guys on the field, so she was just kind of... I know he wants to say something. Why? Bro, you got to get a look. She was giving y'all a halftime speech? What was she trying well, to say? Well, she gave, she gave the guys on the sideline a halftime speech. The guys on the sideline? Yeah. Like, it wasn't like she was like, oh, y'all on the field, y'all need to get your shit together. Like, she was just saying, like, the guys on the sideline need to be encouraging. But to the whole playing. team in the locker room, though. Yeah, she was, it was in front of everybody. She owned it though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> she didn't go up there timid or nothing. Like, she went yeah. up there only. She controlled the room. I was, I was locked in. I was yeah. like, shit. wow. <laughs> I was how, it. Yeah. How how was how was it received? I mean, you know, some guys obviously some guys don't like to be called out. So yeah, a lot of the guys who I feel like some some of the guys who felt I feel like felt like they got called out at some of the by Sarah hurt. too, someone who just yeah. joined the team. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, there's I'm, so many factors. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had no problem with it. So that's just, that was okay. I guess the big thing is was there, like, could you see the point that she was trying to make? Yeah. She was right. Like, everything she said was right. Okay. Well, so, from what I heard, she was trying to draw a parallel with soccer. Yeah, coming from an SEC championship, saying the reason why they won was all their teammates were supporting each other from the bench and so yeah. forth. And then I heard from some of the guys on the team where they're like, "Hey, like football is way different than soccer. This is a violent game. Like you weren't here during fall camp, or whatever. Right? Just playing devil's advocate. I wasn't there, so I don't know." But yeah, that was that was basically the argument to yeah. say that like you just got here and like, but I mean, at the same time, it is the people on the side. It's a, you can draw that kind of parallel between the two games. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, like the people on the sideline do matter. I mean, you guys know, like, yeah, looking to yeah. the sideline. It's also tough when you're down thirty, forty points. At I mean, yeah, it is tough, but you just gotta do it. Yeah. It really sometimes it starts from like the first time something goes bad, like oh, the sidelines immediately dead. I mean, yeah, you, you yeah, guys yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. was the sideline that bad during that game? It was pretty dead. It was pretty dead. Yeah. I'm more just trying to think, like, because I feel like it's so situational and just comparing it to, like, what maybe, like, a normal season, like, would yeah. that have been the answer? So what? Uh, because I, I'm almost thinking, you know, it's a compounded, like, effect of everyone's drained, mm-hmm. you know, like, people, and, and I'm still thinking, like, if I'm going through a practice for the next 
you know, throughout the whole week and I'm doing double time, triple time of my reps and I'm in a game yeah. and it's not going the right way. And, you know, it's week in, week out. And obviously you have to go in week by week and, you know, have to restart and just try to go one and oh each week. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard to kind of separate the two. Whereas like a normal season where you, you kind of have some, you know, norm- normal. Normalcy, there's a schedule, there's a routine. Yeah. You know what's going to happen. Every yeah. And you, yeah. you get kind of like that true reset. You know, I, I'm more just trying to imagine how, how much of the factor it is from if it's more of like a player's thing or just like a situational type of. I mean, I, I see how that could factor in, like to just me. I mean, I understand like it's it's not going to be easy to just be pumped on the sideline, right? And we're it's like our ninth game, we're zero and eight, and we're down, right? Whatever, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not it's not going to be easy to be out there playing either. So, right. I mean, everyone has to do their job, like kind of like y'all were saying, like everyone has to do something. So, yeah. I mean, if you're just standing there and not doing anything, like, right. it, then it's yeah, it's probably a negative. Yeah. So, I mean, but I mean, I could see both sides, but I mean, kudos to her for. Yeah. That, takes, that takes some balls a new team I did. new organization to go up in front of the t- I mean there's people who've been there four or five years who wouldn't, who would, wouldn't dare to do it now. that's you know that's very true yeah and I was surprised I'm not gonna lie but right. I, I respected it because regardless of what anyone has to say about like whether she should have done it or she shouldn't have done it like the fact that she did and like could actually go up there and say what she was trying like say yeah. what she wanted to say I was like all right well, if you can do it, go ahead. Like, <laughs> okay, well, then, did you see an effect from that speech translate into the second half? Yeah, did people buy in and change? I feel like, at the very least, at the beginning of the half, some people felt like they had been called out, so they had to do something. Okay. So, I feel like there was an effect. Okay. But, I mean, also, there were, like I said, I feel like there were guys who were butthurt. And yeah, so both really positive like, and negative. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about just around the facility? Is she like one of the boys, or you know, how? Yeah, you I know. mean, I mean, we see her because, like, yeah. you know, even in the train, yeah. the training the room training. right there, it's like it's yeah. different, though. You know how locker room culture is. Well, yeah, I mean, she's not exactly in the locker room. Like. She's got her own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know she's got her own locker room. But <laughs> well, I guess that's where I was kind of interested, thinking of like halftime when everyone kind of comes in, like changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like was that. <sighs> I mean, well, from what Gabe said, she <coughs> changed in the trainer's locker room. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the, the rest of the team, they just heard a banging. She was just knocking on the door, and then she stormed in and then <laughs> asked, asked Coach to talk. That's that's what they said. I don't know if I, I don't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> it could have happened. I don't know if I saw that. Maybe but I just saw it. it. But the whole staff was in there. Like, it wasn't just, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, trainers yeah. were in there, I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. We have a nice little car alarm in the background. Yeah, it's lit. Yeah, that's convenient. I hope that's South not Central. my car. <laughs> open window strategy yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> capture everything. Mm-hmm. It comes with South Central LA. Welcome to the hood, baby. Yeah, baby. Hey, there we go. So, what's the what's the food spots other than tacos? Yeah. Well, okay. There, there's some good spots. You guys had some Peruvian food today. That was good. Caveman, shout yeah. out to Caveman. Caveman. No free shout outs. That's around the corner. Yeah, uh, they better pay me my money. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the name of the place? Caveman? It's called Caveman, Caveman yeah. yeah. It's like, you know how at Vandy we had Satay? Yeah. You know you got your local college spots. By the way, Satay's facts. That's, yeah. Satay is a bus. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite. Oh, that's a go-to. Yeah, on, the, yeah. on the high. That, that, <laughs> I'm just glad my pictures are still up on the wall. Yeah. I got like oh, three. I don't think I have a picture. Oh, uh, you don't go enough then. I need to get lucky. Yeah, they don't. Because yeah. uh, I was, it was just when I was living in uh, Towers. And I would be there like three, four times a week. Yeah. And then finally they were just, it, within like a month, like we got to get you on the wall. What's the satay <laughs> go-to? You got to do the chicken fried rice. Um, no, of that salad and everything else. Just yeah. extra, extra rice. Extra yeah. rice is the go-to. <laughs> and then a, a three spice and Ooh. just roll. It's roulette. It's roulette. You, you don't, don't know, know what the chef's <laughs> feeling that day. You just go right in the middle. It's like, it's, I want to spicy, but I don't want to die. <laughs> You know, but I want to kick. <laughs> I go no spice, man. <laughs> Bruh. If the chef's mad, he's giving you a four and a half. Hey, he's going crazy. Yeah. He's oh, going crazy. Man. What do you go with? Yeah, I got to get the basil fried rice with chicken. Uh, no, no spice. No peppers. Yeah, no, no tomatoes. Yeah. 
No, you can put the tomatoes. Go tomatoes? Okay. Put the tomatoes. And the onions. Add onions. Add onions. Uh, and then extra rice. Yeah. Spice level four. Four? I got to go for the four. Oh, wow. Well, he takes he more just, spice than I, you? Yeah, that's, I'm I've actually never, very surprised. <laughs> I've, never, <laughs> you. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I've, I was very shocked by that. I like. I mean, I need a sweat when I'm having a little spice. Yeah. So, like, dude, I've never seen anybody eat with a four. It's the fourth dimension of flavor. <laughs> spice. <laughs> Wait, what would happen if you went five? I five. Think you, you could handle it. I, I've, I've had the spice. Yeah, spice. What? It was. Okay, so you're built a little different then. But it's hey, the same Dio's thing with the four. Different. It's kind of like a roulette. Like, yeah. You yeah. get a four it sometimes. Be, it's like it be like a three. You get some that's like, all right, I have to eat this. Like, yeah. break it up every thirty minutes. So I'll eat a little yeah. corn. <laughs> Bro, you know when it's spicy when the food's not even hot in the moment it's in your mouth. You're like, <laughs> hell yeah, bro. <laughs> like shit. Man, I miss those spots. Yeah. I miss I, Nashville in general. Yeah. I, mean, I tell everybody, that's one of my favorite cities. Yeah, no, Nashville's a, it's a little vibe now. It was a great place to live in during college. Yeah. Great for young people. Yeah, I think this setup, like, here is just so, so different. Like, everything's so spread out. So many um, distractions, too. Yeah, if you're in LA, LA. Yeah. yeah, we're like, yeah, Nashville was sick because it was just like you had the opportunity on the weekends to always do something, right? But you were still kind of zoned in during the week, right. you know? Um, yeah, Broadway is always going to be there Friday, Saturday night. You go hang out with the boys, yeah. it's a great bonding experience. Everyone's together going out, I mean, that's natural. You're going to do that after games in the off season, all that, etc. Out here, there's so much to do even during the day. And you can easily get distracted and you see it all the time where, you know, you've got the option to go to the beach with friends or you can stay in and watch extra tape and work out yeah. for a lot of people who don't have that discipline. You're going to choose the beach or, you know, a party that's going on during the day at USC here or really anything. It's Los Angeles. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be a little it's hard to lock in. Yeah. Right. Uh, Especially like if you're an 18 year old freshman. Year old freshman Freshmen We've got a lot LA. of early enrollees too. They're seventeen. Yeah, bro. Could early you imagine? Yeah. yeah, bro. Too young. Crazy. And the media like presence here versus even just in Nashville, right? Like you're in like one of the media capitals of the world, and you, you know, the the history behind USC and being like a football player here versus like. Bandy, like the concept is just you know you put your head down and grind. Yeah, you know, like, well it's OTMU, right? <laughs> yeah, the exactly. Mud so, so like, so yeah, it's a whole different. That's the title of our group chat. And I think that was the mentality that everyone had as well. Everyone's got a chip on their shoulder coming in. Mm -hmm. Like few people are over or over a three star. Mostly everyone's just around there. Yeah. Everyone feels like they should be, you know, should Ooh. have had those bigger offers and they didn't. And you go to Vandy to prove yourself, kind of thing. Well, yeah, and you're playing the best conference, and yeah, and you're playing the chip, best yeah. of the best. Exactly. I didn't even know what OTM like when I got added to that group chat. I was like, what? I didn't what, know what it was. Yeah, what, 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 what it was either. Yeah, you find out quickly, though. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> that's the mentality for real, though. It's yeah. just like, oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Like we really out the mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but it's a different kind of grind too with the academics. I, yeah. yeah. I I try to tell people here it's late nights and then it's not just those late nights but then okay i'm preparing to play a top five team in the country on on saturday so that's all the preparation that goes into that plus okay i have a calculus exam i have a chemistry exam that same week so yeah. all right. what was it that one year it was like ag after a game was just in his locker finishing yeah, an finish essay yeah uh, like right yeah, after the game someone. I think it was uh, Sheffield. Yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Donnie. I mean, I feel like it could have been all of them. Like they all could've had it at anybody. one point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He just finished the game. I think he even had a pick or some one of our DBs. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's sitting in the locker room. Someone took a photo of him and posted it. They're like, "We're yeah. built different." <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> it's real. Yeah, it's finishing real. an essay right after a football game. Yeah, you can go anywhere else in the country. You're celebrating. Everyone's jumping up and down. Yeah, but you know that's on your mind. Like even possibly at some points during the game like maybe in a timeout you're like damn <laughs> like, like four pages yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah you'd like ask yeah. a coach like yo what time is it man i gotta, <laughs> I gotta go <laughs> kind of like coach. yeah i got a submission man yeah 1059 yeah. 10 coach <laughs> <laughs> you're playing Ole Miss, and you know those dudes aren't worried about that right now yeah and that game was late Ooh. Uh, Ole Miss is always a late game. Yeah, no, that, no, that, no. that Ole Miss OT game oh, we yeah, had. OT? Oh, my that game was yeah. fun. I got knocked out that game, but it was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. I almost scored, though. Yeah. You did. Almost scored. Wait, was, always I got right down on the one. Was that the game that my, my, my boys were right by your, your mom and everyone else yeah, in the section? So. Bro, that's just crazy. Yeah. 
That was nuts. That yeah. was live. That no, was a fun game. I always loved Ole Miss because their tradition with quarterbacks. And one of my boys from JUCO, he was playing linebacker. I think he was one of the guys on the play, too, where I got hurt. And so it was just a whole – and all your friends were there. My parents were there. Yeah. And it was just – I mean, it was a great win because we needed it for the bowl game. Bowl game, yeah. It, it was kind of bittersweet, yeah. Texas Bowl. We won three straight, right? Yeah. Is that how we finished yeah. off? Yeah. yeah. What was the game before Ole Miss? Arkansas. Was no, it Arkansas? No, 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 it wasn't. Or was it Missouri? Because we finished. I think it was Missouri. Lost that oh, one. Oh, we lost that one. I yeah, so no, I, we actually, yeah, so that's what put us in that bind. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't win three straight, but. No, we didn't. We yeah. had to win two straight. Is yeah. that what it was? Okay. Yeah, like it was Missouri, which we obviously should have won that game. Mm -hmm. And then we were like, damn, backs against the wall. Like yeah. we have to win out. Yeah. Well, people forget too how good that Ole Miss team was. That was Tamu at quarterback, yes. DK, and A.J. Brown. Yeah. That's gross. And then Demarcus Lodge, he was going. He was actually the one going crazy that game because really? DK was out, and then I yeah. think AJ Brown got er injured earlier in the Did game. He? Yeah. So. No, I th but I thought one of them came back. I thought he came back in towards the end. Demarcus Lodge is the one who caught that one-handed catch. Mm. Oh, that game. Yeah. yeah. That was also when Jawan was. Yeah, I remember Jawan. He was bombing. Yeah, he was. He had a, a pick or something. Yeah. yeah. And didn't he seal that seal that for us in OT? Yeah, yeah. with the deflection. Yeah. Red coat. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. Shout out Jawan. Yeah, he's <laughs> one on the park. With the Pats. I know, we got to hit he's, him up. He's on the West Coast, right? I think he's training yeah, in Arizona or something, sure. I see. Yeah. yeah. He should be going into his, what, third year? Third, yeah. Third year. Yeah. That one. The vet. But we had, a, we had a squad. Yeah. Yeah. We had, I mean. Some dudes. Every team was kind of loaded, but we, yeah. we, had some, we, had some, we had some guys. Yeah. I think about it, too, if, if everyone would have stayed who, who declared early. And, and everyone who ended up transferring, if they would have stayed as well, and everyone just kind of stayed and created a nucleus, that would have been a very formidable team in the SEC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you talking about, like, this year? Or like yeah, the past few years. Past few like, years. all the guys who left, yeah. and then all the guys who declared early for the league as well. Yeah, like Jawan. Yeah. Two windows. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's the face of every commitment post. Yeah, it's always his picture. <laughs> he, oh, sh now it's coming to you though. Yeah, you're getting yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, with the graphics. No, it's just the one picture. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what I the schedule is just around him. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. No, yeah, exactly. We're gonna have to find that and uh, put that up somewhere yeah. below. Collage has got words. some as well. I yeah. see Collage with him. Yeah, Keyshawn as yeah. well. Hey, Ke sneak, Keyshawn though. just got a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, that's big time. How crazy is that first year in? That's crazy. I did talk to him. I was like. You went from being three and nine to hey. <laughs> what, a <laughs> <laughs> what a swing! <laughs> you yeah, it. yeah. Well, he was also playing with the goat. Yeah, that's I mean, that's back different. to he was yeah. just to be in the backfield with Tom Brady. You know? In his first year in Tampa, like that's just legendary. Yeah, yeah. And he's got like Antonio Brown on the team. It's a great situation. Dude, he has a great collection of guys around him. Yeah, just to learn from. Yeah. yeah. Shady. Right. Yeah. I know it's a stacked backfield and it's tough to get playing time behind some of those dudes. Rojo, Fournette, I mean, they're you know, Pro Bowl caliber dudes, but it wasn't McCoy on the team you, too. Yeah, Shady's on there, but he I don't think he played much. Right. I don't think he played much. But just to learn behind those dudes for a year or two, yeah. get a few rings, play with Tom Brady, football IQ standpoint, I mean yeah. that seems like a good position to me. Yeah. I mean I know it's probably not what he wants, but I mean he took advantage of the plays he yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. I had him so on my I fantasy. Had, Did you really? Yeah, you I drafted him? Yeah. No, I uh, I think I picked him up free agency when uh um some of the other backs went down and so I was going to start uh you yeah. know taking some of the load. But Sneak's a character, bro. Yeah. That's a dude right there. Yeah. It's a baller though. Nashville legend. Yeah. He really seriously. is, huh? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh some of the antics with uh, with the upgrade signs, he would put them up all around the the locker room. You weren't there for that, right? No. Our theme going into uh, my last year there was upgrade, and so he just uh, printed out all these signs that had upgrade in like all all caps. And he said, "Nah, for real, upgrade," and it would have like different <laughs> captions on the side of it. It was so funny. Wow. And then uh, before games, uh, the one that got me was he'd always be like, "I'm chilling." If you see, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? You'd be I'm like, chilling. yeah, you see me. Good, keep. Yeah, because you'd be like, you know, he just had his son, right? Yeah. He's like, you see me on the field? I'm chilling. If you see him in the game, he's calm, cool, collected, just as if he were on the couch. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a pleasure to play with those dudes, bro. Yeah. And you as well. It's, I mean, all y'all are going to go off in the league, so. 
Yeah, that's KB what, that's why just it's a got shame. re-signed, too. KB got the new one-year deal, too. Yeah. Shout yeah. out, KB. Yeah, shout, shout out, KB. KB. I mean, he's carving out the holes for, if you yeah, ask me, the best running back in the league. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he deserves, yeah. A, he deserves a big deal at some point. Oh, yeah. Like a long-term deal for that. I mean, as much as a fullback can. Because, you know, like, obviously, like, fullbacks aren't. More like big niche, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal, but like, yeah. but they actually use him as a weapon though. He's catching yeah. balls. I've seen some. He yeah, got a little, yeah. little receiver in him out there. Yeah, <laughs> I just love that it happened against Will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will okay. posted the photo too. Yeah, the other day. I yeah, the other day. Yeah. Um, do Will and uh, Luan still kind of like train at Vandy here and there? I mean, well, I haven't been around. Yeah. But, uh, I guess maybe well, now less. Dobson's gone. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Yeah, one Dobson's gone, and then because of COVID, I don't think they. Yeah, then yeah. So I heard Dobson's staying though, like not as the head strength coach, obviously, but yeah, he's in a position at Vanderbilt, like within somewhere the athletic program, strength program. I'm not sh- exactly sure. It's some mm-hmm. position that like kind of oversees the strength program for okay. all the sports or something. Like that, so okay. and they kept Fahad too. Shout out to yeah, Fahad. Fahad's still in there. Love him. Yeah. He's out the. They he's, kept the homie. He's in the real office now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really? the back? Yeah, he's out the out the storage room. Bro, <laughs> the storage was so cold, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Every time, like, I'm just grabbing some protein. I'm literally walking into his office. To, like, yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> just grab whatever I want here. Yeah, I mean, those are good people, bro. It's yeah. a, it's a shame that we didn't have more success because all around, bro, a lot of work went into it. Yeah. yeah. But what do you think about the new stuff? I mean, I don't really know them that well, so I can't really yeah. speak to. Well, just from outside, right. outside in. I, mean, yeah. I just, I just think about the time when we, uh, when they let go of Coach IU and they brought in the new guy and they told you guys like, yo, oh yo, who's, <laughs> who, who, who are these two D live right here? Trash. <laughs> We're freaking me and Dare. <laughs> that was their first film film breakdown. They're yeah. going over. The, this is a, a new D line coach that it was only there for a week, he was right? There for Thirteen days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah, he's just calling out me and Dari for being ass, and then really? and then of course Dari ends up going to the team that the he's coaching. Oh, uh, the Bengals. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, Coach Jason was he, that was a character. He was a character for the two weeks. Yeah. he was there. I love Coach Hay though. I'm glad he's there. Oh yeah, Coach yeah. Hay's a Coach Hay. He went to my high school too. South Florida. Dillard. Yeah, Dillard High School. <laughs> Best high school in the country. Yeah, Broward County. Broward County? <laughs> Cal. What about Broward County? Y'all ain't beating modern day. Uh, okay, probably not. But <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the year. <laughs> That's different. Modern day is like. They're recruiting from out yeah. of state. I mean, it's ridiculous. They flying kids yeah, out from Hawaii. Yeah. 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 Complete quarterback. Well, two years in a row, they had the max prep player of the year. Yeah. Both of which came here to SC. That kinda money crazy. light flex no it's just kind of coincidence one of them's not here anymore but i just never think of it as a coincidence like sc just established that modern day is going to be their funnel school it's the boosters <laughs> it's the boosters <laughs> direct pipeline yeah <laughs> yeah well we have three three other dudes now like four or five stars all of them kind of like a corner receiver and something else i think but usc just goes into every year and just will offer all your starters <laughs> it's pretty safe but yeah yeah i guess they're like the saint thomas of florida yeah what's the equivalent in texas uh well we don't really have private schools that kind of like dominate football in the same way so it's a little different but probably like desoto desoto i've heard of them always yeah. put people out or north shore where did kyler go he went to allen yeah allen does the allen same, but they're the one with the stadium different. right yeah. the crazy stadium westlake too i mean drew Brees and um Nick Foles yeah. both came Both out of Westlake. Westlake. I've heard of Westlake, yeah. And they got a... Garrett Gilbert came out of Lake Travis, but that's probably all we put Lake out there. Tra- oh, my uh, bad. Baker. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Baker, Baker went to Lake Travis. <laughs> yeah. I heard they're pretty... My yeah. bad, bro. Yeah, they were... Lake Travis. <laughs> forgot about the uh, number one overall pick in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew it, but yeah, no. No, but Texas football is different, though. Yeah. It's no, different yeah. out there. It's just and a different... Yeah. yeah. I love that conversation. Cali, number one. Texas too. Uh, that's Cal. I, Texas. Not Texas. Texas but that's funny. I didn't even realize that. Cali, Florida, Texas. That's top three well, in whatever order you're gonna put it in. Huh? So who's the best? It's Cali. Well, if you look at the numbers, it's, it's Florida. In terms of NFL talent, depends. Uh, what's your barometer? <sighs> like let, let's let's quantify this because yeah, every oh, year right. the state with the most players in the NFL is Florida, and we could look it up right now, even though the TV's not working. So are we saying why, the but. best athletes or the best high school football? Because those are two two different things. 
That's true. I mean, best high school football for sure is Cali. Texas. It's oh, Lord, California. we have the best players. I'm not saying we have the best offensive or defensive line talent, but skill position wise, it's it's so you not just even alienated close. over like half the field. I'm no, saying we, we're we all have, around. We have dudes in the trenches, but we're known for our skill positions. Nah, I, we are. I mean, yeah, but I, you you got to be all around, like yeah. well rounded. Yeah, to have Texas it. is also the biggest state so just by volume. You're well, California have more has guys. more people. <laughs> so I mean we're the biggest size state But California has more people than us So, And I'm but, playing uh, yeah. just numbers that way That's we, We're going to be number one I've seen some terrible California football I've seen some terrible Texas football I don't think so Even the six man now The six man get down The oh, six man put crazy. people in the league I literally <laughs> was I was I watched I went I went out to Austin And I think it was Westlake um, And I watched him play some team And I was like Wow I mean JV side As in bad no, You're Westlake, Westlake, Westlake was, small? no, no, no. Westlake was smacking. It was, I mean, they were. Oh, they the were, they were yeah, I'm saying the teams that they were playing. That I was comp, like, good yeah. lord. No, I mean it depends what comp, like the hardest division in high school football is in Texas, like Texas six A. Because I think I don't know what division it is. It has like Allen, Desoto, Cedar Hill. Like they yeah, have powerhouses. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. six. Should be six A. Six A. And it bumped up because Westlake and Lake Tra- Westlake was five A for a while until we got our shit together and started winning championships, and they bumped us up to five. And then recent, I mean, probably in the Baker days, bumped up to to six for Texas. Yeah. Yeah, the six A. How close is it to Friday Night Lights? You seen that show? I mean, it's just it's just about yeah. Well, actually, I haven't seen the show as much. I've well, seen the, the movie. Well, the though. movie, yeah. The, yeah, look, the movie's different, though. The movie and the show are very different. Like, I like yeah, both. I like yeah. both. Yeah. I like the well, show. The, the coaches show. are making a lot of money, too. The co- like, yeah, in Texas. If you're, like, a top three high school football coach in Texas, you're earning over, what, 100, 120? Yeah. Probably. I mean, the stadiums look like they should be. Yeah, I mean. The stadium, the facilities are insane. They're nicer than a See, lot but of you got D1 all this. Schools. You guys got all this stuff, and it's like every high school is a college, a small right. little college program, and yeah. we're out here in California grinding. Up yeah, the mud, I remember up once the mud. we, our head coach. It was like when we started winning state championships. It was like his second year in out of the four or five that he got before he left. He hired a helicopter, two helicopters See. to come hover above the field Stop. because it, it, they were trying to fix the rain. It was like we got rained out the day before, and the field was a little stu- still too wet. So to dry it, <laughs> so he hired two helicopters to come just hover over the field for See. like half the day to try to dry the game for that night. That ain't funny. it. Yeah, I have heard of that. That ain't <laughs> it. Yeah. I can't. I can't it, award number it, one football <laughs> with that. With that right there. Why? That's not. I mean, in we high care school, about the game. It I means, know you care it about it, more, but I'm all about yeah. the grind. Yeah, I don't have any rain to worry about. That's I know, true. which is, and I will say, I didn't even play in a rain game until I got to college. Exactly. My That's freshman why. year, it doesn't prepare you for the next level. Yeah, I'm out here living in paradise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, you come out to. Beach I know you know about this though. You get the what 100 degree, you know, fall camp. You get the 115. Florida's the same way. You go to Miami in the summer. You can't breathe the humidity. It's the same with Texas. Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends where you are. Yeah, but it's, it's the same it, kind it of. It's hot. I'll, yeah. To be honest, a lot of California people. If you're watching, you're gonna get mad, but I'm gonna say, Florida, Texas, California. Yeah. Wow. California is definitely order. number three. In order. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you California might, is number three. You might be number I can't four. wait for this. <laughs> I, <laughs> can't wait. Georgia. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. I can't right wait. There. This is on the TikTok. <laughs> No doubt, and everyone commenting, uh, it's geez. California number one, and then it's literally. Oh. I would probably say, okay, that's look. You can say that all you want. I get. I get. What it. are the numbers? What are the numbers? Like? What's, what's your evidence? You can't just say something and not provide evidence. I'm just well, you literally. If you just look at the max prep ratings, it's always modern, of, of, especially like of, the past like five years. That's one it's team. Like, we cool. have the number one in the nation. I, IMG is better than modern day. Boom. Dude, IMG they don't even do school. Not a Florida school. It's a it's yeah, a school in Florida. That's like a college. They're the, they're the same thing. They both yeah. recruit. <laughs> Dude, what? it's they, a college. They both recruit. You literally don't even do school. You literally just you, you're you're there. Modern day's probably the same way. I'm gonna officially put it out there. It's, I'm gonna go, and I'll take the heat for the bias, but it's gonna be Cali, and then it'll be, but and okay, I will preface this because I understand why coaches from like the East Coast hate Cali kids. And I, I actually get it, but I, I, I understand why you still need to recruit them. And, and I've, and I will say it's been weird. I've seen more kids quit from Texas and Florida at the next level than I have Cali kids. Look, there's no I, denying there's 
Go ahead, go ahead. No, you. There's no denying there's great talent in California. No, no, I know, I know. But I'm just. I'm, I'm saying, where's. Regardless. Why, how are you. Who are you talking to? Where are your sources? Like, number give me, one give me team something. in the nation is going to be from California. And then, so that's I'm going to just take that true. as that's going to be the that's ranking. And if I have to wait it out after that, then I'm going to take Texas at number two and Florida at number three. But then NFL translation, probably Florida at number one. Dial. <laughs> Texas has the best high school football, and it's not close. Because if we're talking about the full package of high yeah, school football. Yeah, you treat it like college ball. The full package. You by, got everything. Yeah. By volume, I would say yes. It's the biggest state. And quality. It's got, it, it means Dude, they literally more treat it probably. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's football, religion, family. It's it's And yeah. all come together, not even in any particular order. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And so, like the whole the whole town is yeah. shutting down for. Yeah. yeah. Which is, which and is I vibe cool. with that. I actually like that. So that was cool. sick to yeah. see. Yeah. Which isn't happening in LA because there's so much going on here. That's the thing. It doesn't mean as much. Yeah. It's the same thing in the, the Juco town I played in. Shout out to Coffeeville. Yeah. Right? Small town. <laughs> Coffeeville. Coffeeville, Kansas, southeast borders, Oklahoma. It sounds <laughs> awful. No, that's, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't say that. <laughs> no, it's fine, but for real, it's, it's a small town, a few thousand people, and the whole town shuts down. Everyone knows who you are. Like, I go to dinner. Everyone knows who I am. Like I play quarterback for Coffeeville. I go with my teammates. Like everyone knows each other on a name, first name basis, and I'd, I'd imagine it's the same thing for high school football because I never got that experience in high school, yeah. in terms of small town atmosphere and everyone you know loves the loves the local team. Yeah, in that sense. I mean, it also depends where you play. Like if you play for one of the smaller, obviously you play out in the country. Like the whole town's really shutting down. Like yeah. there's nothing else going on tonight. But I mean, some of the schools that are like are in Dallas, Dallas, they still have like a strong following just from like their high school and like how much the school cares about it. But it's a little different when you're just like like Friday Night Lights. All my coaches went to actually Odessa, so oh for real, but They're they went to Odessa High, so they hate Odessa Permian. Wow, so, uh, yeah, that's funny. My high school coaches, so but so then who's two and three? You're putting Florida at two. I'm putting Florida at two. In high school football. Well, then Actually, no, no, no. In high school football, I'll put California at two. Okay. What? Actually, no, no, no. Yeah. Let me, let we're, me gonna, back. we're stamping that. I changed That's my mind. I'm going, the back, I'm going he back said to Florida. I'm going back to the print. <laughs> I'm going back to Listen, Florida. This is ridiculous. It's the official one, two, three. It goes yeah. Texas, Florida. Thank you. He's flip flopped so much. Uh, but yeah. athletes. Athletes. Yeah, this man's flip flopping more than those mini pancakes he was talking about. I need the mini pancakes sometimes. It's like Las Chalucas. But no free ads. No free ads. <laughs> <laughs> he said no free ads. <laughs> but um, yeah, Florida's definitely number one. I don't know what y'all do, put in the water down there. Yeah, speed. You can't nothing. compare speed. The speed and the yeah. quickness. Yeah. No speed. doubt. No doubt. Which, which is why I said skill there. position. Yeah. 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 Which is why I said skill position. Out. But all around is Texas. Yeah. And then quarterback. California. Quarterback and like. Uh, it's yeah. Ca- yeah. California and Texas. Y'all battle it out for for quarterback. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a I'm a quarterback hunter, so I really don't care. Yeah, the <laughs> sleeper is Georgia. Georgia yeah, recently, honestly, yeah. yeah. Trevor, Justin Fields. Yeah. Well, I mean, tons of dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. I mean, top five quarterback in the NFL right now. Yeah. From Atlanta. Uh, Cam Newton's from Atlanta too. Yeah. Former MVP. So that's, that's a lot of dudes actually. But yeah. Wait. So, <laughs> what was your team growing up then? Cowboys. Dallas. Nah, Cowboys. Well, college oh. though. College. Yeah. Oh, um, Texas. UT? Yeah, UT. The real UT. The real UT. The only UT. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that was the dream school kind of growing up? like. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I don't know if I ever saw myself going to UT, but. Yeah. I rooted for them. Yeah, I was a UT fan. And then Charlie Strong was at UT when I was getting recruited at first. And then he got, they never offered me. And then he got fired, but the new staff offered me. But The new staff at UT did? Yeah, but okay. I was already committed to Vanderbilt. So like you wanted to just. Stuff. Keep on your word. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did Vandy come into place in the first place? Well, my older brother, you know, yeah, Dari. Dari was there, so that was pretty much. I wasn't the only reason, but yeah. that was a big reason. So with your my brother. mom, yeah. Education was that a big factor as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, city degree, SEC, so <laughs> <laughs> the poster boy, <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah, I mean, it really is what it is. At the end of the day, like you get to be in Nashville, so it's not like. I mean, yeah, you'd Knoxville. say, yeah, you'd say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Bro, it's like Tennessee disses. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I said that during the the Texas Bowl thing. I freaking I said like Knoxville Tech. Yeah. Everyone was just looking at me like, what? The, what, yeah, the what, hell you what the hell did you just say? <laughs> yeah. Fake UT. Okay, UT. That's funny. I hate what people call me. It's like when they call South Carolina USC. I yeah. can't stand I'm that. Like, I don't know. It's not USC. That. Yeah. <laughs> I could not. Because I'll tell that. people I play for USC. They're like, oh, South Carolina or Southern California. And that offends me. Yeah. Like, like, bro, obviously Southern California. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you even ask? Yeah. <laughs> hey, so y'all rank those same states. Again, one, two, three, but for girls. Uh, oh, wow. That's a good I one. I feel like Miami heavily weights Florida. Oh, that skews it? Yeah. I go, I go California, Florida, and Texas in that order. I go, oh. I go California number one. I mean, I love LA. That's that's probably. I mean, I'm like, I was yeah, gonna say that's said, why I moved here. <laughs> no, no, no. no but I'm We're making it on <laughs> girls. I love LA. <laughs> no, I love everything that LA brings. Oh, I'm so that's sure. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I moved here solely because of that ranking. <laughs> hey, California girls by Katy Perry. There's a reason. It's not Florida girls. It's not Texas girls. The title's well, California a song girls. Called. <laughs> I've never heard I'm of her, it. Oh, I've never heard of it. This is so tough. I'm her. I'm her. I'm her. Go. I'll, I'll do because they're all different. Yeah, they're all, all different. different. Yeah, yeah. I like the Texas upbringing though a little bit better than uh, I like it too. Than California's more, you know, like bougie. It's like yeah, the, it's fake out here. It's a Hollywood culture, right? Yeah, man. There's. I mean. You might know better than I do, but there's a whole different level of booze in Dallas as well, though. Really? Yeah. It's, it's not a LA, different so. kind. It's a different kind. Yeah. 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 I, am, I I haven't met, like, too many, like, heart of Dallas, you know, people, so I haven't really been able to yeah. weigh into that. Well, then you got to say, is it Dallas or Houston? Because those are different styles of people. Mm. Mm. Like, are they really? Dallas is a little right, bit break more. it down. Yeah. Dallas is a little bit more, like, bougie, kind of, like, up. And Houston's a little bit more. Low. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more what? <laughs> it's a little bit more ratchet in Houston. Uh, okay. you know <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's more like Atlanta, like Atlanta vibes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Where's well, all, oh, no, he's right. He's right. Yeah. Get down I want. I want to hear your ranking then before. I mean. I like he's thinking about this one harder yeah. than the other one, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my girlfriend's from California, so I'm going to have to go California number one. Really? Uh, that's uh, biased. Man, that was biased. Man. Smart man. Smart man. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just go Texas number two in Florida at the bottom of whatever wow. list. <laughs> the bottom? Yeah. That's tough. Wow. Have you been to Miami? Yeah, I've been to Miami. Okay. Wasn't and impressed. And you still think that? No, it's, it's it's a great it's he a said nice place impressed. to visit. Yeah. I would I wouldn't want to live down there though. I just feel like you can't trust any of the girls and over there. That's though. exactly what I was thinking. Like and you wouldn't say that about LA. It's a different type. Like, like you're literally known for plastics. They're trying yeah. to chase the LA's bag as well and the bag. Yeah, but like down there, like they'll just rob you. But like <laughs> here, <laughs> I feel like in LA it'll be like oh like, but I feel like in Florida they'll just like. Snatch that. Just like you yeah. wake up and you're just chained to the, nah, my, to the bed post. <laughs> there's a lot of truth in that, actually. That's a well said. Bro, <laughs> well said. It's no, for real, it's the fraud capital of the world for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah my, South Florida. South Florida. Yeah. It's insane. All kinds. Okay. There. We'll keep that, keep that one last <laughs> for sure. <laughs> On those credit cards. Yeah. yeah. The oh credit my. cards. That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> all the uh, Gator players that are from Miami that I know, they all got busted for it too. Like Antonio Callaway and all those dudes. You just name dropping? Yeah, <laughs> like that. I mean, this is public. This is no, public no. information. <laughs> the fans like, in case, in case you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. No. In case you forgot, I stole the sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch that BTS to know that one. Yeah. Oh my. Watch the. Uh, what do we call it? Oh, truck stop, truck stop. Shout out to Phil, truck stop. Yeah, we need to yeah get a camera on him. Yeah, <laughs> that truck stop goes crazy. Uh, oh, okay. We got uh, fan questions. Oh, we, yeah. We've got two. I, I remember them from the dome. Yeah, you have two TV's fans out, but I remember. It. You have you have two fans. <laughs> two fans. Two, two fans. 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 Two
<laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say that should be a segment too because her best. presence, her presence is she's yeah, she's uh, she's huge on Twitter. She's right? damn near Vandy yeah. fan number one. Yeah. Like her ratio is like crazy. She goes yeah. crazy. Like three to one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she's like the biggest beat writer for for Vandy, basically, yeah. and she's got inside information. She, Whatever you tell her, she just tweets, huh? She tells me. She'll be like, <laughs> when Coach Eason got, or when he left, mm-hmm. Coach Eason, uh, the coach we had for like thirteen days, she told me I before was like, you found yes. out. She wow. was like, y- "Did wow. your coach leave?" And I was like, "Uh, no, I think I think he was in the office." This I just morning. talked to him today. I just <laughs> to him like this morning. <laughs> she's like, "Nah, you need to check like, your facts." I'm pretty sure she. Yeah, he's I'm gone. pretty sure he's, yeah. like, he's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I found out, I found out a lot of stuff from her. Yeah, it's Mama O, right? Yeah, Mama at O. Mama O. Yeah, you guys right. gotta go follow. Mama o. Yeah, okay. shout out to Aunt Mama yeah. O. Yeah. She'll yeah. keep you up to date. <laughs> she will. She, she's not afraid to share her opinion. Yeah, no doubt. All right, one of them was, how was it playing with your older brother Dare at Vandy? No, it was it was great to play with him. I mean, it was a lot of fun to just be around him in practice every day, stuff like that. Because we've never played together, so we never played on a team together, and we hadn't gone to school together since elementary school, so it was a little different to be like, oh, that's cool, in the same place and stuff yeah. like that. So it was fun. It was fun to have him on the team. Why yeah. were you guys? Why didn't you go to the same high school? Uh, he went to a private school, and I, I didn't get in. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to a charter school, and then I hey, got into Vandy, though. Yeah. Well, so we all have our routes. Up here. Yeah. Public school, Ranchu High School, holding it down. Public Texas school, out the school. mud, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Texas education system, got yeah. me to Vandy. There it is. Got me almost through it, hopefully. Hopefully. All right, the other <laughs> one, we, the other one uh, we got was your favorite moment in total from Vandy. You asked from last season, but just overall. Uh, Probably the Texas Bowl was a fun week. It was fun, like, yeah. Yeah, it was just fun. Yeah, we In Houston, too, so your home state. Yeah, yeah it was good being in Houston and just... Staying in the mall and yeah, going to eat canes and whatever all the time. So. Dude, I think we had a whole different experience in Baylor. I I don't even know where they were staying, but yeah. I don't know if it can. Compare I thought they to stayed being, in the same hotel. No. no, they stayed at the somewhere downtown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Bigger hotel downtown. But yeah, bro. We had. So I mean, we were in the time. mall yeah. the like, whole day. A little we too much just, fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was sick. <laughs> Running around yeah. the mall, buying yes. shoes, buying clothes. Yeah, that was fun. I wasn't buying anything, but <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely running around the mall looking yeah. at stores. In the food court. Yeah. Food court. Yeah. The food court went crazy. crazy. Hit up the homies. Yeah, I found this new spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that was where I uh Marble Slab, is that like a big thing out there? Yeah. Yeah, that was the first time I had that. Oh, yeah, I don't have Marble Slab out here. No. no I've never or heard like of that. Like Coldstone, yeah, Coldstone. Yeah, Coldstone, yeah. we have Coldstone. It's very similar. It's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. But I think Marble Slab just did it different. Yeah. It's not even like ice cream like that, Marble but yeah. Like, dang. Yeah. yeah. Even the activities were kind of fun. Like, this is the rodeo was yeah, cool. Rodeo, yeah. yeah, it was, oh, it was yeah. cool. I didn't realize how big Houston was, too. Yes. It looks like they have three, four different downtowns. It's, yeah. it's massive. It's just, just sprawling. It's spread out. Yeah, yeah, everything's spread out. Yeah, I mean, Texas could be its own country. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly not with the, <laughs> yeah. with the snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all still need the United States. As long as it's hot, we're good. Yeah. yeah. If it gets cold. Whatever it gets. But it's like one in a hundred years, though. Right? Yeah. Like, that never happens. Uh, from what I hear, like one in ten. Yeah, it happened probably like ten years ago, but it wasn't as it didn't shut everything down like it did this time. I don't know why. Yeah, power went out everywhere, and like water went out, and like. Dude, I flew in for that week. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I'm glad I was chilling in In California. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) seventy and sunny every day. (laughs) Every day, even in the winter, it's crazy. Yeah, and I take it. I take it for granted now. Just that's the weather. I just come out and it's sunny and it's yeah. nice and I don't even think about it. It's not to say I don't enjoy it, it's, but I, I honestly take it for granted to some extent. Whereas if you're in Nashville, you get one of these days, you're hitting up all the boys. Yeah, we're doing whatever we can to be outside. Yeah. If it's a Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't matter during the week. We're going to grill. We're going to hang outside. You have to take advantage of those days in the winter because you don't get them often. Out here, it's just another day. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. I'm not used to it, but. Yeah, just wait. I don't know. Oh, you, you've experienced a rain day out here. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple. Like, yeah, very, uh, they very like shut down. It shuts yeah. down California. No one can drive. drive. Yeah. 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 I don't know what it is about California, but I keep seeing, like, flipped cars. Like, every accident <laughs> is really? the car's upside down. <laughs> like, it's never just, like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I flipped all the way over 13 times. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, yo, like, slow down. 
Bro, it, it's funny too because I was driving uh, literally uh, yesterday. I was driving and there was a car flipped over <laughs> itself. <laughs> Yeah, on, uh, off of the freeway. Like I, I don't even know how you get to this. There's a, me- I, I couldn't even. I didn't know how the car got there. Yeah, <laughs> flipped over on its, on its side, bro. That's what I'm saying, like, you haven't experienced the traffic yet either, because of COVID. Yeah, not like the real. I, s- yeah. I saw a glimpse of it one day where I was trying to get back from PT, and like, I was literally going one mile on the highway, and it took 25 minutes. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Like, I was just stuck, just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. gridlocks can, I mean, I was sick. L.A. traffic is, and when you say L.A. traffic, it can stretch, like, the whole southern part of like, yeah. California. It's freaking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not Have you been back home recently in Texas? No, not since May. I haven't been okay. Since May. Actually, no, I lied. I was home in December. I went home for Christmas. So yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. was it with, like, COVID and masks and all that? Because I saw they just... Made that same, uh, or not same, but they, well, they released the mandate with, you know, everything's kind of open now. But well, I actually went to Texas. I had been straight all this time, and I had been around several, like, positive cases. Uh-huh. Where, like, it's supposed to be, like, it was kind of risky situation. Like, I might be getting COVID. I don't know. Right. I went home for Christmas, come back, first day back, I test positive for COVID. I'm like, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Texas is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I tested positive for COVID, and I had a 10-day quarantine and stuff like that. I had to yeah. test out, but I lost my smell and then yeah, got it back, luckily, because I know some people don't get theirs back. Right. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I went to Nashville to uh, unpack my things from the house before I moved out here to California. And this is uh, April or May, like, before I got out here, whatever, before summer. And... I would wear a mask because I'm I was used to how how it was in Florida and at the time it was pretty strict. It's not anymore. Yeah. And then I get to Nashville and Tennessee and I'm wearing it and people looking at me funny like, bro, why are you wearing a mask? And I just get all these like dirty looks and I'm like, <laughs> I, I forgot I was in the South. Yeah. I imagine it's the same in, in Texas. South. Yeah. They yeah. look at you funny. I mean, literally, I hear now, it's the opposite. Yeah. Now it's no mask mandate. Nothing. Everything. Yeah. yeah. COVID is done in Texas. Basically. Yeah. yeah. You go party, have concerts, do whatever you want. Yeah. That's. Uh, it's going to take some time out here. Yeah. Well, they said April 1st. There's a new. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're predicting they're April 1st that like yeah. ballparks, stadiums and all that. They're going to allow people. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, like just some people. Some. Yeah. yeah some. Like uh, in like for baseball, Angels tickets for just the, um, the nosebleeds were selling for like 1400. Yeah. A ticket. No way. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah. So hopefully our SE games. Baseball. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, crazy part is we haven't gone to, like, games in so long that I would love to go to a baseball game just to go. Oh, know? yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a very fun time. Just to be with people. Yeah. To be yeah. there. Just yeah. Be people. Not for 1400 though. No, no not for 1400, <laughs> 1400 You got the wrong one yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess final ranking, where would you rather live? Um, It depends. If I'm, like, if I'm, like, worth, like, Two hundred million dollars. I live in Kelly. Like I live in like. But two hundred million buys you a lot in Texas too. Yeah, but at that point, I can buy a lot anywhere. Okay, you know? that's so, true. Yeah, but if I have like a couple million, I'm going to Texas. And, and like get more bang big. for your buck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to convince me. Those are those are my top. Yeah, yeah, like I. I so it's between understand. Texas and yeah. out here. Yeah, you th- like, you think about California though, like your short stint here that that convinced you. Probably not. I mean, it looks <laughs> like the Rams are. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone yeah. wants to come get me. Slide. What's the what's, yeah. the what's the ideal landing spot then? Anywhere warm, really. Anywhere, anywhere warm. warm. Hopefully, with no income tax. And then, well, <laughs> so we got Texas, Titans, Florida, yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee, yeah. Texas, and Las Vegas. Yeah, Vegas would be dope. Yeah, yeah. So, so you'd be cool with all those. Yeah, that'd be smooth, but anywhere would be great. Yeah. You're going to go to the Bills, Bills Mafia. I know. <laughs> it's funny because people keep telling me I'm going to go to the Bills. Really? Yeah. Uh, you just fit their culture. That's good, though. It's a good team right now. That's who you is. <laughs> yeah. I want to live in Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to be in Minnesota or Green Bay or something. Yeah. I'm going to have to get used to this snow. Yeah. yeah. That's I a just, different type of cold. I just 
I already know. My luck is going to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you get drafted to uh, to Green Bay, we're going to post this clip. It'll be, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let it be called <laughs> the freaking coldest state. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I'm going to have to go get Say some Say it again. Coast. Just the way you said it. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> Uh, well, all right, brother. Thanks for coming on, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. I appreciate y'all having me. Of course. Fun. All right.